Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway Vickerstown Railway Station. Very excited. So we first got to see this station, I believe it was in the Great Race, and I was so excited to see Vickerstown Station, because we've never really seen it depicted in the television series. Though some do argue that Knapford Station... I think was supposed to be Vickerstown, something like that. I don't know. Either way, I love the idea of a giant terminal like this on the island of Sodor. Because it, it's very modern, or well, very vintage British Railways, you know, kinds of stations. One issue that I do have with this station is scale. But they couldn't really do much with that. Because it only has four tracks, and in reality, an engine would be like this tall. Um, and then the people up here in this window are way out of scale for both Wooden Railway and for this station, so I don't like that. The windows do have nice details though, like uh, Sir Topham hat right here and Dowager hat. I love Dowager hat. And then just some random people in the window and looking around. Very cool. The other side of the station, which is kind of bare, it just has another window sticker, no printing of Vickerstown on the top of that uh, portion of the roof. And then we see the other side, which is surprisingly not a reprint of the other side. Um, one thing that I do like is, of course, this little police officer right here, little mailbox, just things to add life to the place. Another thing that I like about this station is the roofs. It actually has plastic on the inside to simulate glass. Very nice touch on Mattel's part. And when you rotate this roof dome, it makes sounds. The only real issue that I have with this station is the length of the platform. If you bring in, for example, a standard express coach, it can only fit one on the inside of the station. So if you want to make a long train of passenger coaches, you either have to get more of the Vickerstown station or just park Gordon. Like if Gordon was here, he'd be all the way out past here. And I, I don't know. I don't like that. But other than that, it's, it's good. All in all, this is the classic Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway destination, and it's sure in you know recent years with Thomas Wood taking over, it's I think it's one of the best in the modern era of Thomas Wooden Railway. Um, the only thing is too that I don't like is just bare wood. Like I wish they would have done something with that, just printed something on there. I don't know. Other than that, though, it's very cool, and I'm very thankful to have gotten this station. Um, I got it for sale at. Uh, on sale at Toys R Us when they were closing. So I am glad to get that. But anyway, this is Thomas and Friends 47 signing off. Tell me what you think of this station, and I will see you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.